Tensions are simmering between New Zealand's recently elected government and Maori communities over a proposed referendum that could strip back Maori rights. The country's newly elected government wants to redefine a treaty between Maori and the Crown, a move that sparked anger and protest. Our New Zealand correspondent Jack Nyhoff reports from the country's Waikato region. Where the Waikato and Waipa rivers meet sits Narawahia, a small town home to just 6,000 Kiwis and the great Tawanga Waiwai Marae. It's something that's ours, something that should not be taken away from us, and something that is there for the future generations to come. 70-year-old Winnie has lived in the Waikato region most of her life. And like many Māori here, she doesn't understand why the government is pushing ahead with a referendum the New Zealand Prime Minister has labelled divisive. If we wanted change, we would have asked for it. As Māori, we we uh, we got a foot on the ground. You know, we we established right now. So uh, if they want to change things, then we're prepared to argue the point with them. You know, so we're going to stick by our guns. Ever since this, um, New Zealand's history, we've never seen the government ever challenge or even try to change Tiriti or Waitangi. We feel like um, belittled, do you know what I mean? Like uh, we don't matter. At every corner in every town across New Zealand, rich history of Māori culture is celebrated. It's a treaty between Māori and the Crown, signed in 1840, that has allowed for mutual prosperity. This is a beautiful place that you've got here. Lisa Thompson is a local councillor and Māori community leader in the Waikato region. You were at the Huey over the weekend. How did you feel attending? That Māori are powerful and that we are also about unity. It was here last weekend. More than 10,000 Māori gathered at the request of the Māori king. While the Hui is over, the fight is just beginning. Early next month, the newly elected government will meet with Māori leaders in Waitangi, ahead of New Zealand's National Day, commemorating the signing of the country's founding document, the Treaty of Waitangi. They were expecting, you know, like 5,000 uh, people and they were feeding 7,000. But to have this endless flow, this river of um, Māori and non-Māori coming to Tūranga Waiwai um, was quite incredible. And something that will be marked in the history books, it's really unheard of in these circumstances. Fueling the anger, this document from the Ministry of Justice leaked before the gathering, showing proposed treaty principles had removed specific reference to Māori. Why do you feel like such large numbers came together for this event? What prompted it? Well, really what the coalition governments um, are enacting. You know, their first 100 days, not only have they um, attacked Te Reo Māori, they're disestablishing uh, Māori initiatives like the Māori Health Authority. They've disestablished um, the smoking ban, um, which we know has a direct impact on our people. Rarely has New Zealand seen such unity from tribes across the country. You know, I'll be able to look back, hopefully, um, with my children and their children, and I can say I was there. Um, so it will be something that is spoken about, that defining moment in history um, that galvanised a nation. In Narawahia, New Zealand, Jack Nyhoff, Sky News.